Hey, Ross Robertson with Big Water Fishing. Dipsy divers are a big part of my deal. Anytime we want to basically get lines deep easily. So we'd rather we can spin on fish, summertime, get lines at the boat, you know, when we're using them in conjunction with having planer boards out farther. And really the, a dipsy diver is not difficult. A lot of guys get kind of weirded out by them, but it's very, very simple to fish them if you know a few things. You're going to want to have a little bit heavier rod. This is a dipsy diver rod. Uh, the, Fish USA flagship. And then I've got a braided line on here, you know, 30 to 40 pound test, something like that, because you don't want a lot of stretch. Where I like to stretch with monofilament on planer boards, I definitely don't want it for this because we want this trip mechanism to be able to come out easily and not have kind of a rubber band effect. So this is going to dive down here. You're gonna to wanna to use some good quality uh, terminal tackle. This is a VMC snap swivel. So we don't have the twist, but also things like steelhead or whatever, they could, uh, could mess this up pretty good. So you want good quality stuff. And you can adjust this tension. So whether you're fishing salmon species or walleys, you may want more or less tension. And then they're actually directional. So you look on the back here, we've got zero to three left and right. And as we turn this dial, that's gonna cause this to plane from zero one, two, and three. So you can not only run multiple lines per side, but you can spread these away from the boat, almost like an underwater planer board. And that's a really big deal because you can not only cover more water, but get away from the boat. And that can be really critical. Pretty much I run these straight out of the box. The only really thing that I do is I put a number three VMC dual lock style snap on the rear because now I can hook my leader on there. And leaders will range anything from a rod length to maybe as long as 10 or 12 feet in really, really clean water. And the big tip with dipsy divers is you want to use a shallow bait. So whether it's a flutter spoon, like a silver streak, junior or mini, a uh, shallow bait like a storm thunder stick, but the shallow lips, you don't want anything that's going to dive deep because the dipsy diver itself is the delivery method. So you're just going to want a light deal back there. Crawler harnesses, spoons, crankbaits, all that stuff works great for a dipsy diver and allows you to get deep very easily.